hello everyone in this more or in this video we will see about few more method means few more uh, topics from classes and methods so first thing here is type based dispatch so we have seen operation overloaded or operator overloaded based on the operator it was calling the function from or it was calling the method based on the operator you are passing as an uh, passing for the uh, passing as an argument for print method but what if you have two different types of add methods like based on the based on the function or based on the addition you have two different types of arguments called then see uh, let's see the example here we have add add time and increment three methods which does uh, the same thing of addition so add will take self and other type of arguments if instance other comma time then return self add time other so it is going to self add time other function call else return self increment so if the function means the add method as an argument as other then means the argument is passed instead of class object it is passed with an other type of arguments then it will call add time method or else it will call increment method so once add method is called self with others second will be added with init value of self time and other time and return init time to the seconds else it will uh, or if the else function is executed or else uh, condition is executed from add method then increment method is called where second is incremented with self object and it will return the self object so here we have a function call for those methods in this operation means this operator is called as type based dispatch because the dispatch dispatch the computation to different methods based on the type of argument you are passing so as i told based on the argument what you get this add method is dispatching or calling some other methods for its execution so based on the type of argument it is dispatching to another method in the class so we call this type of functions or this type of methods as type based dispatch so uh, for the previous example these are the function calls can be made so two objects for time class is uh, time uh, for for the class time we have defined start with 9:45 9 hours 45 minutes duration object with 9 1 hour 35 minutes if i use print start plus duration as an operation overload then start plus duration will have other it will not have other and time so it will increment the seconds if it has other values like here instead of calling two objects we are using one object and one other variable to it or other integer values to it so if i go to function add it will call add time for other value self dot other values next one is polymorphism type based dispatch is useful when sorry type based dispatch is useful when it is necessary but it is not always necessary means it is not uh, always type based uh, type based dispatch is not necessary to avoid that we can make use of writing a function that works correctly for arguments with different types so we can write one function with multiple types of argument so we uh, it is called a polymorphism poly means many morphisms means type so many type of arguments can be handled with a single function or single method so those types of methods are called polymorphism so here we have diff histogram where 
it is passed with as for c in as if c is not 1 then d of c is 1 else d of c is equal to d of c plus 1 written so here we have an example t is a dictionary data type where a uh, sorry list of data type which has multiple list data spam egg and some of the values have repeated to get this with to get the <coughs> list or the tuple type of data type into a dictionary data type where you can make use of single key variable and multiple values every time instead of going and searching the number it finds the number of same variables existing so if i come here it is passing with a list s where values inside the list s starting from zeroth index if c is not in the dictionary data type d then increment must add the value and increment it with must give the value as one for the key of a, a key in the dictionary data type else you can if it is already presented then you can increment the value so here this function is doing two works or multiple works one is just giving one value if the values means if the key is not existing and if you are adding it first time then you are giving the value with one if it is already existing then else function instead of calling some increment method it is incrementing the value in this function itself so once if you have a if you have taken polymorphism with respect to time object then if we have time values the sum method can calculate time for two values three values or multiple values so that is called polymorphism next one is interface and implementation so interface is one of the main uh, like interface is the one of the main thing which separates means which joins two methods into one program so one of the goal for object oriented designing is to make software more maintainable so if your interface is good then the implementation of two different modules can be interfaced easily so design principle that helps to achieve this to keep interface separate from implementation so you can implement multiple objects with multiple uh, benefits but you have to keep implementation away from interface so interface is only a media to add two or multiple modules for programming and never keep an interface restricted for future announcement like for updation of your program interface should not never this should never come in between for implementation so when you are maintaining or updating the program interface should not be a barrier for updation or maintenance of your program so i hope you understood the topics thank you